Welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're talking about a plant that lit my eyes up when I first saw it. Tillandsia antonia, which belongs to the Bromeliad family and is native to the tropical and subtropical regions of Central and South America, including countries such as Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras. These plants thrive in a variety of environments, showcasing their remarkable adaptability. Tillandsia antonio is a small to medium sized plant, typically measuring four to six inches in height. Its slender, elongated leaves are often silvery green due to its specialized trichomes that enable the plant to absorb water and nutrients from the air. During its blooming phase, it produces eye-catching, multi-branching floral spikes adorned with vibrant lavender, purple, or pink petals, attracting pollinators in their native habitats. Tillandsia antonio thrives in bright, indirect light. Direct sunlight can be too intense and may cause leaf scorching. Ideal temperatures range from 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. While this plant can grow epiphytically, it is commonly grown in soil for ease of care. Use a well-draining potting mix such as a blend for orchids or a mixture of pine bark and perlite. Water the plant thoroughly, allowing the soil to dry out between waterings. It pairs well with other air plants, orchids, and bromeliads in mixed displays such as terrariums and mounted arrangements. Their non-invasive nature makes them suitable for combining with various plants without competing for soil nutrients. One unique behavior of Tulanzia Antonio is its ability to change leaf color based on hydration levels. When well hydrated, the leaves turn vibrant green. When they need water, they appear more silvery. This color change helps grows, growers monitor the plant's hydration needs. Additionally, Tillandsia antonio propagates by producing offshoots or pups at the base of the parent plant, which can be separated and grown independently once they reach about a third of the parent's plant size. Tillandsia antonio is primarily used for decorative purposes due to its striking appearance and minimum care requirements. It is a popular hanging it is popular in hanging glass orbs, mounted on driftwood, or integrated into living walls. While it does not have significant medicinal uses, its unique characteristics make it an excellent educational tool for demonstrating plant adaptations and epiphytic growth habits. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more plant profiles.